what is up and welcome back to the plymouth argyle career so last episode i did mention that i was going to change the difficulty because i didn't like the way that the game was playing however since then i have realized that i had a broken controller and that was making it very very difficult almost impossible to really play the game especially with the team that we have so i've addressed that got a new controller and so we're just gonna keep things as they were we're gonna push forward on uh legendary difficulty not gonna adjust anything at least for now i just want to at least want to try this out with the new controller and, and see how things go before we make any adjustments so there's only two games left in the month of december as we have a look at where we sit we're still i would say vastly overachieving with this team we're sitting in fifth place but if you look at all the teams right behind us i mean even 12th place oxford only four points back so we might not even be in the top 10 by the time we actually hit january and it all comes down to our defense only two teams have conceded more goals than us and those two teams have conceded 33 we've conceded 32 so we are horrific defensively the good news is we've scored 42 we're tops in the league in that department so i i, I don't know i there's still i have no idea where we're gonna end this season and we start today against 18th place Cheltenham Town. And I don't think we're going to play a team worse than this for quite some time. So I would absolutely love to get a dub here. In there for Spider. Oh, it's Spider. Oh, Spider gets around. Ref, that's a foul. He pulled it back. Spider, does it matter? Spider Douglas. I told you the four star skills. And now that I can actually control my players, it makes it a hell of a lot easier. Okay, Spider-Man. We're good to go now, boys. Ooh, I'm feeling it. I, I think I've been playing this entire series with a broken controller. How did I not notice it before? Holton with a tackle. Jeff Card, are you going to make a run? He's going to get into the space there. He's going to dink it back post. Ennis is going to control that. In there for Jeff Cott. Oh, blocked off the line. No. Jeff Cott for Spider. Oh, that's blocked as well. Spider. Oh, I can't get on the end of that. Oh, it's so much. It's so much better. Kamara, that was meant for uh, Mayer. That's a good ball for Jeff Cott. Jeff Cott scores. Beautiful finish from Luke Jeff Cott. Bottom corner. 2-0 to Plymouth. I'm loving it. Kamara, nice little move there. I think he just nutmegged Spider, but <laughs> we move. We won't talk about that. Jeff Cott on this. Yo, Luke Jeff Cott, line one up from distance. Are we on legendary? This doesn't. This feels weird. Now. I might actually have to check. I, I'm. I'm actually questioning what just happened. Jeff Cott hasn't been close on one of those finishes all year, and suddenly he can just bury that top bins. Nah, surely not. Ball up for Ennis. Ennis skips away from one. Oh, that's a lucky bounce to Kamara. Kamara for Luke Jeff Cott. Ooh, good save by Flinder. Was that name Flinders? <laughs> I don't. Know. Just, I don't know why that name's funny. <laughs> the Flinders. Uh-oh. Oh, nice little one-two shot. Big save, Michael Cooper. Oh, that's, uh... Oh, yeah, there, there was our poor defending. How, how are we just leaving a man that open in the box? Well, who's marking him? Otomeo. Oh, Otomeo, you got to beat him to that. No! Dude, was that saved or that hit the post? I think Michael Cooper saved that. How did he save that? That was incredible. We're not out of danger, though. Don't make it all be for nothing, please. I'd love to keep a clean sheet. Oh, we just can't get in front of him. Oh, Spider should have blocked that. Okay, it's out. We're fine. We're good. Everything's fine. Out here for Kamara. Back for Hardy. That's lovely stuff. Ryan Hardy puts the finish on it. 4 nothing to Plymouth. Gentlemen better in the second half. Still, still pretty bad, though. <laughs> they're, they're still very bad. Oh, please, don't give up the clean sheet now. Don't give up the clean sheet. Like, oh, Cooper, that was a heroic save. Unbelievable stuff from Cooper there. Can we please defend a little bit? Just defend something. Oh, my God, Cooper has been absolutely heroic in this in this match. All to, oh, it's blocked as well. We can't. We're not doing him any favors. We're not helping him at all. No, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're, we're covering that. We're not covering that. Oh, God, Cooper. You know what? Just hold it. Just hold it. Ref, blows the whistle. That's it. We're done. I wanted that clean sheet. We were just trying to give them a goal at the end there. Enough. Enough. 4 nothing. We'll take it. 
All right, so we've gone ahead now and called up two players from our Youth Academy. The first one is Victor Bravo. He is an original Youth Academy player. He was already here when we got here, but he's only 45 rated. He does have a little bit of potential, but he may never actually make it to the first team. And as we're heading into January, I'm gonna go ahead and probably loan him out if I can. The other player that we called up, I'm a little more excited about this one, Rodrigo Di Carvalho. He's our first Portuguese player to come up from the Youth Academy, and he's actually quite good. I think he might actually be the first youth, or the first Portuguese player we signed to the Youth Academy, and he, he is pretty decent. And as we're always looking for more center mids, he might actually get some first team minutes, so I don't think I'm gonna loan him out right away. You know what? I really like this dude, Rodrigo. He, he's got the right attitude, you know? He's been dreaming of this moment. He's desperate to show what, everyone what he can do. I, I like him. I, I want to keep him in the team. I don't think I want to loan him out. We move on now to take on Portsmouth. They're in 13th place coming into this one. And I did have a look after that last match. We were on legendary difficulty for that one. It didn't really feel like it in the first half when we just ran over Cheltenham, but they were a lesser team. They were in 18th place, and our one strength is that we can score goals. So it kind of made sense we were able to put in a good performance there. So this one, being a derby match, may go a little differently. Ooh, good play there. Ooh, Scar. Good interception from Scar. You know, we're just going to have to clear this. We're not going to... We're not going to play with it. Edwards actually keeps that in, and we're actually going to get possession from that. That's a beautiful play from us. Oh, good ball forward as well for Ennis. Ennis, can he find it for Jeffcott? It's in there, Jeffcott! Oh, what a finish from Luke Jeffcott! Big players make big plays in big games, and Luke Jeffcott has that about him. He, he is a big player. We just, we can't get this out. We've just been pinned in this entire time. Oh, this is bad. That's a free cross. Win that, George. He does just about. But look, they have every they have every outlet covered. We just can't get it out. Oh, Michael, what a save, man! That's halftime. Holy, what were the stats from that first half? That was actually insane. Let me look at these stats: sixty-eight percent possession for Portsmouth, five shots. That was that was just ridiculous. What in the hell, bro? What, are you serious? No. Oh, my God, Onomeo. Just punt it up again. Just kick it long. We literally can't do anything. Oh, that's lucky. That was very lucky. Go on, Spider. Oh, please put this away. End it, Spider. Put it away. Oh, it's such a bad shot. He has a five-star weak foot. Oh, Spider. I'm not sure how that even got through there. Oh, they tripped over each other. That's massive. That was just, uh, just, okay, that's the end of the game. That was a nightmare. That was an absolute living nightmare. I've never seen a team play that aggressive before. Literally, every free kick we got, and we got a lot of them because they fouled the hell out of us. Every free kick we got, if we took it short, 11 men, I'm pretty sure the goalkeeper was doing this as well, literally sprinted at us. Like, it was scariest thing I've ever seen. But we got the win. And that's really all that matters. I don't know how we kept the clean sheet, but we did. So it is New Year's Day. The January transfer window is officially open. However, we have no money. So I doubt very seriously we're going to do anything at all this, this transfer window. Other than maybe loaning a couple of youngsters out. We'll see if we can make some moves there. But we have Wimbledon up now. And we're going to have to rotate our entire defense. We have Galloway, the youngster Persall getting a game in there. Gillespie and Bolton across the back line. And then Tierney's going to step into the midfield for Houghton, who also needs a bit of a rest. It looks like Wimbledon might be dealing with some fitness issues themselves. So we'll see how we can do here. Oh, this is some nice ball movement from Wimbledon. Oh, we went flying right on by him. Oh, my goodness. Cooper. <laughs> the saves he's made today are just insane like that's point blank range albeit right at him but still like at the beginning of the season he 100 percent does not save that that's a great ball tyranny i think kamara's on side here he was on side and that shot is i didn't even have to look to where it finished i know he hit that 10 million miles over the crossbar Putting that in love that tyranny boy ref why are the why is the why is the cpu so aggressive the slide tackles they've made are just disgusting. Oh, 
on, defend again. That's back stick. Michael Cooper! Are you serious with that? How is he suddenly just unbeatable? That is a ridiculous save. Go on, Michael. Gets that ball up there for Kamara. Kamara, nicely done through there. Who is it? It's Tierney! Tierney, bottom corner! Beautiful finish from Tierney. And we've taken the one nothing lead. A little bit against the run of play, I would say. I think we would have had the better of it in the second half. Hey, but we got that goal. We found it. We figured it out. Ball up here for Jeff Cott. Ref? Another disgusting slide from behind, and another yellow card. That's his second yellow card, though. Finally, somebody gets a red, and he should have had a straight red in the first half. That's like the 19th tackle like that in this game. There's the final whistle. Another 1-0 victory. How have we kept three clean sheets in a row today? What has gotten into our... Actually, it's not even our defense. We haven't defended particularly well. Here and there, we have some situations we've actually defended kind of, kind of well. But Michael Cooper has been, I keep saying heroic. That's the only word that there is to describe it. He has been out of his mind in between the sticks today. So we're back into the FA Cup. And our objective for this competition this season is to reach the round of 16, which doesn't even sound remotely possible for a club like us, but we're going to try. And standing in front of us is Bournemouth. They're in the championship. Not only are they in the championship, which is a league above us, they're in fifth place in the championship. This might not go well. Corner for us here. You know we're looking for Luke Jeffcott in the box. Luke Jeffcott with an emphatic header. Big players, big games, big goals. I love Luke Jeffcott. Edwards, can you that in? Can as well, and we're gonna get the ball here. Douglas, oh, Spider Douglas with a ball of dreams. Not really seeing anything in the box. Now I do. It's Danny Mayer. Oh, shot blocked. He just took too long to get it away. That ball from Spider though was ridiculous. Free kick here. Let's give it to Odomeo. Odomeo want to line one up from about 40 yards. Oh no, nope, never mind. <laughs> you gotta try it though. I feel like if they're gonna give you that space and disrespect you like that, you gotta shoot it. Ref. That has to be a red, right? How is that not a red? Can someone explain to me in what universe a slide tackle through the back of a player is not a red card? That is a red card! Oh, I thought that was going to be a pass back. Off the... Wait, that went in? I thought they hit the post. Didn't he hit the post? How did he score from there? I mean, credit to him for just getting the shot on target, because from that angle, he, that was an amazing attempt. I, that's poor. I'm, Cooper's been so good, I, I hate to put it on him, but really shouldn't be giving up a goal from there. Let's go. We have a chance here. Hardy, through for Jeff Scott. He's off. There's no way. There's no way he was offside. Let me see it again. This had better be indisputable evidence. Okay, he was offside. Was he offside? That dude's ass. That dude's ass was keeping him on. I don't think he was offside. His ass was keeping him on. Ref, you're blind. There we go. Forward. Beautiful. Hardy loses the ball to camp. That's going to be the end of the game. And we're going to go to a freaking replay. We can't afford a replay. We don't have the team to go to do replays. We can't afford that many freaking extra games. The fact that Lowe scored the goal pisses me off because he should have been sent off in the, first, or in the second half for a red card on a disgusting slide tackle from behind. We got screwed out of that game. We should have won that game. We deserve to win that game. So as we wrap up this episode, we have moved up a couple of spots into third. And we've given ourselves a bit of breathing room between us and pretty much the rest of the league. You can see Sheffield Wednesday on 38 points. And look how many teams are close to them. I mean, all the way down 16th, Cheltenham's only five points back. Morkham in 18th or six points back. So... Going on a bad run of form, you could easily see ourselves fall miles out of the playoff spots. But for now, we survive. And actually, despite our success, sort of, today, other than the Cheltenham match at the very beginning, we didn't do anything offensively still. And it is because the difficulty is just absurd. The, the Legendary is just not playable at this point. The team's literally sprint at you for 90 minutes and you can't you don't have a second on the ball to make a decision on what to do so because of that 
just to get a little bit more entertaining gameplay, I am going to change the difficulty. I, I am going to actually make that move and, and probably drop down to world class and figure out some sliders to play on there. I just want to see some balanced gameplay and actually have some highlights where we're not just getting a lucky counterattack and scoring because that, that doesn't make the game a whole lot of fun to play and probably not a whole lot of fun to watch. So I'll go ahead and make that move for the next episode and hopefully we can find something that works out a little bit better. So that is it for this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see when we come back for some more career mode here with Plymouth Argyle. See ya.